Peace, Cosmic Family. Oh, let's stretch it out here. Ah, reach it up for the sky. First, thank you for joining me again. We're coming off the heels of a four-part series that was called Every Planet Wears a Crown. This was a very deep macrocosmic look at the hidden origins of our planetary species. I purposely, purposely didn't go too deep into the details to allow for the overarching picture to be painted. Allowing for like the average listener who don't have a lot of esoteric knowledge of vocabulary to be able to visualize the creation story. Stripped of all its myths buried in ancient texts. I mean, imagine you were like me and not only conscious but have a deep DNA information that originates far beyond what's written in texts. That's why I'm doing this new smack dab series of knowledge dumps. This will be knowledge dumps of magical means beyond what's written in books. I like to imagine that books are record keepers of misinterpretations. I say this because written text can be put into any syntax that the author would like. And syntax is a very good way to indoctrinate information under the guise of it being totally truthful and non-biased. Bullshit. So here, I will definitely be using syntax to do the same hypnagogic action and massage your brain with words that will tantalize your imagination. So be prepared to always be shocked. Be prepared to possibly be in awe. Be prepared to doubt yourself on believing these truths I'll be sharing with you. Information is not for everybody. Which is what makes it fun because you can talk about this out loud, unfiltered, and to the uninitiated, so to speak, it will not settle into their heart, their heart chakra, their center. So today's topic is about numbers. It's always better to start with the foundation and since this will be a continuing brain dump of magical knowledge, let's just start with the basics. There's such a beautiful science out there called Supreme Mathematics. Now, you don't need to know the origins of Supreme Mathematics, but you can Google that at your own leisure. I like to keep lectures short and sweet because if I waste your time with superflu superfluous information, I'm just distracting you on the focus. And so you can rewatch this video in a timely fashion to regain any of the information if you were to go searching for it. And I don't want you to have hours and hours of video to search through. It's, it's a waste of your time. So, now the numbers that create magic emanate from a primordial knowledge that came encoded in our species DNA. And you can go reference some of this back in my lectures, Every Planet Wears a Crown. Supreme in their interpretation, I would call this number system very similar to, the he similar to what Hebrew language does in its codification. Because every Hebrew letter of the alphabet is also a number and has a meaning for a deeper concept. This is similar to what Supreme Mathematics is. Supreme Mathematics is a way to interpret base numbers from 0 to 9. Now for those who might have some knowledge of computers and how they work, Everything in the computer, when we're counting organized sets, arrays of objects, begin with zero. So in Supreme Mathematics, systems starting with zero, you count all the way to nine. This is very important as I'm teaching you how spells work, okay? And casting without divination magic, like tarot cards and all that BS. So let's begin with what I will do to break down the difference between numbers and sound magic versus visual def divination, which is tarot cards and zodiac. So supreme mathematics starts at zero. Zero is the completion of a cipher. One means knowledge, two means wisdom, and three means understanding. Now let's pause here and review the first four numbers in the supreme mathematics 
zero. The shape of it is an oval. Quite like a circle, right? But there's a sign that it's perfect but not even perfect. But it's coming to the completion of a cipher. It's almost the absence of everything is being perfected and then the whole of everything is perfect as well. Now if you can see the number zero as a dualistic energy, it's been oval and a circle which represents some kind of 360 degree calculation or degrees. And in fact, the degree symbol for measuring temperature is also a circle. Go figure. It's a spell. So when you tell me that I have to go get a degree in English or computer science or some kind of you know knowledge base, what you're really being asked to do is complete the cipher of information so that you can move on to the next step, which is the number one. And one is the acquisition of knowledge. I guess now that you've completed the cipher, you have a set of knowledge that you can move forward with, you know, in practice. And in practice, you're going to move to number two, which is wisdom gained from using that knowledge. Hmm. Makes sense so far, right? I hope so, because this is very basic. So three is the understanding of that knowledge that you are using and the wisdom that you've gained from using its three sides. That's zero, one, two, and three. These numbers are leading you to understanding, okay? So now that you're kind of mesmerized by this breakdown, let's use it to magically focus before we get into the numbers four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, on some real talk, my black kinfolk would say, you're barely scratching the surface of what these numbers do. Now that you have a deeper understanding of these basic four numbers, look at how these numbers play some mental pictures, placed in addresses, placed in phone numbers, placed in architecture around your great city. You will find that the secret societies of Masons Rosicrucians, Shriners have all been utilizing and stealing this number system in its base form to treat you as if you're not worthy of understanding the magic behind the numbers. That's why for a lot of non-magical people, information is hidden right in plain sight. If you ever see a building with 333, three, three, I know that building has something to do with understanding three layers deep. It will usually be a government building, something like a post office or something to do with money or financial paperwork. Why? Because the spell that the Federal Reserve is using to keep you three layers away from gold has to be carried right before your eyes so that your subconscious is manipulated and programmed. The second layer is their piece of paper that they give to you and say that's an IOU spend it the third layer of hidden information is that that IOU will give you wealth now that's a program that's hidden right in front of you and if you can see these codes you're better than the average person who's already influenced by coding knowledge and has no understanding of how this logically deciphers out into real world examples you know your local environment has been built around you to cast you know deep primordial knowledge back into your mental state so that you know you're moving forward as a devotee to a number system to find things but not realizing how deep and smack dab in your face a spell is being cast into your subconscious now on that note, I will continue this lecture on the number system of Supreme Mathematics so that I can give you the basics of executing your own mental magic that has nothing to do with false religion, false worship, and false currencies. Okay, because a false anything, like a false currency just can't flow. It will end at some point. That's the current money system we're on. Now don't forget to hit the like button if you can hear the sound of the voice, the sound of the words that are coming out of my mouth. Also, subscribe and take a deep breath. <sighs> that dab.